guess I kind of give some insight on the project uh, Mac in a Day. It's about it's six songs, uh, maybe one or two bonus tracks, maybe. Uh, still debating on that. Um, it's literally about a pimp who wakes up in the morning and starts his day and goes throughout the day. And um, yeah, just Max and Max and pimps and pimps and, you know, ends his day and it rolls right back around to the, uh, to the beginning, you know. Um, I set it up to kind of be like a story, so it's a little miniature movie to go with it. Um, and that'll be coming out with it, so it's, it's really nice. Redid the Kimi Casanova video. Um, just wanted to get some better visuals, uh, feed that vibe and that aura a little more. Um, it's gonna be a really, really dope project. Um, it is, it's, it's definitely, I guess I just say like the tip of the iceberg. Um, because some of the other stuff that I'm working on for a potential follow up for that is really, really good in my opinion. Um, and I'm, I'm liking it. I'm taking my time on it. I'm not in a hurry to, you know, hurry up and write it or just, you know, get it out there like that. I'm just, I'm just coasting with it. Uh, more concerned about getting this uh, second rolling project out and worrying about what the name of it's gonna be. So, yeah. My music legacy and what I hope to accomplish, man, I just wanna be on that Mount Rushmore of uh, the greats. Um, I wanna be able to entertain people, but I also wanna be able to um, inspire people. Um, and one of the main things I wanna be able to do is uh, inspire the inspiration. You know, um, a lot of times as creatives, we get, we get our um, inspiration from other creatives, you know what I'm saying? So if I can, um, you know what I'm saying, make something that inspires someone who I think a lot about, you know, like a Kendrick or uh, M an Eminem, you know, it just feels good to me because that's the type of thing that keeps those guys going. When they get inspired, sometimes it's like a thin line between being inspired too and also being like, damn, somebody's trying to outwork me or they're coming from my spot. You know, and so that's the kind of flame I want to ignite. Um, and I do want to be one of the greatest. Uh, I feel like I am going to be the greatest. Um, man, man, I just really want to, uh, just kind of as far as my legacy, I want to make it um, just crystal clear to some of the kids and stuff growing up where I'm from, because we don't have a lot of examples. Um, you got some states like California, New York, Florida, Texas, they have artists just pouring out, you know, back to back to back to back. And even now, like, you know, you got North Carolina. Um, even back in the day, they had one or two artists, but now they just have like, when one artist blows, another artist comes, another artist comes. Um, so I just want to um, show them, you know, other than David Banner and um, Big Crit, we have a few other artists that are local, you know, but I just want to show them that it's possible, you know what I'm saying? Um, just stick to your guns. It gets hard. It gets really, really rough. But if you just stick to it, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what you're doing with it. Uh, and you have to know who you are. You got to know your spot and your place. You know, don't try to be too cool about it. Just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's all possible. It's attainable. It's not It's not like it's, it's not within reach. You can, you can reach up there and grab it. You just got to jump high enough. So, yeah. Yeah, has there been someone to reach out? Yeah, I actually uh, got to get in the studio with Snoop. Um, it was crazy is sometimes, I, I guess it was the first time that I was like, um, oh, let me see, what was I? Uh, I guess anxious, or I was a little nervous and excited at the same time. Um, and it's also crazy because I'm not like starstruck when I meet these people. It's just like, I'm cool about it. Uh, and not that I'm trying to be super cool. It's just like, I feel like I belong here versus like, I'm just here because I'm lucky. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you walk into a room full of regular people, you feel regular with those people. Like, you know, but if you walk into, if you get a ticket to the Grammys tomorrow, you're just like, shit, I'm at the Grammys. Like yesterday, I, I couldn't see this happening, you know? And so for me, it's just like, I, I'm, I'm walking into a room with, you know what I'm saying? My peers, you know what I'm saying? Instead of people who are up here, I'm walking into, the room with people and we're on level playing fields, you know, and I just respect their status more than anything. Um, Cause at this point it's like, we're competition, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I look at, I'm looking at you like food, you know what I'm saying? There's still love there, but at the same time, you know, we're competition and everything like that. And I respect your status. I respect that, 
you've inspired so many people that have inspired me and the inspiration you've given me, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely sitting down and uh, just kind of having a talk with Snoop and everything, being in the studio with him. Uh, that was that was kind of dope. That was really nice.